Hey everyone, welcome to Bickering Book Reviews. I'm Sarah. And I'm Becky. <laughs> and you have to think about it. I know, I'm like, what am I doing here today? Okay, so today we're talking about Darius the Great is Not Okay, and it is by Adib Korim, maybe? Um, if you know how to pronounce it, please let me know. Uh, okay, so this book is about Darius, who feels like he never fits in anywhere. He is not American enough to fit in at school, and so he doesn't have any friends, um, and he's not Persian enough to feel like he fits in with his family, like he can't, you know, speak the same language, doesn't make the same connections. Um, and in the midst of all of this, um, Darius battles with clinical depression like his father. Um, however, his father is essentially a cyborg who wants Darius to be better, do better, and, you know, just wants him to be more like him or, you know, the perfect child. And Darius desperately wants his father's approval. Um, but around all of this, they are going to Iran because Darius's Persian grandfather is basically on his deathbed. So the family is going to meet that side of the family for the first and potentially last time. So they go there and it's there that Darius really kind of confronts his own identity issues because um, he doesn't feel, at first he doesn't feel like he fits into the Persian side of his family. Um, but soon he meets Sorab, who, Sorab? Mm -hmm. um, who kind of shows him his place and Darius starts feeling more like himself and kind of connects more to his family and more to who he is as a person. And um, before we start talking about it, we this was another book that they gave us at Book Expo. This was like actually one that they really highlighted, but I also downloaded The Ark off of Edelweiss. I did too. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I'm a failure. Sometimes it's just easier to read in um, an on, in an ebook form. So the first thing I'm going to say about this before I go into a lot of it, Darius and his father are very much into Star Trek and like it's supposed to be that they've started watching Star Trek from the very beginning and they're up to next generation. And I grew up with a, in my household, somebody who was a Trekkie. This person says that they're not, they weren't a Trekkie. <laughs> But when you had a phaser and action figures <laughs> and the transporter... <laughs> You were a Trekkie. <laughs> okay, um, I love Star Wars, but Star Trek was kind of hard. But it no. didn't work in this book. So, and so I actually, I have seen, I enjoy, I, because I grew up around it, I enjoy Star Trek. Um, and they keep referencing certain episodes, and there is one where they're talking about Captain Picard being interrogated, and he keeps saying it's four lights, and they keep saying it's five lights, and I was like, <laughs> so, okay, so the weird thing is, like, this was in one of the other books that we, we re recently reviewed, the um, the Robin Schneider book. Remember, they kept referring to Star Trek, right? They Wasn't did it? refer to Star Trek. So here's the, and Wasn't I don't, it? I don't want to, I don't want to go too far off the course, <laughs> but I think what people are now realizing is that Patrick Stewart is, like, the he was awesome. awesome okay, of the awesome. so I didn't even like Star Trek because I was forced to watch it by my dad, but I <laughs> love Captain Picard because come on. And the person that's in my household who won't admit that they were a Trekkie <laughs> was like a huge Captain Picard fan. Like Hilarious. you dressed up for like him for Halloween one like, <laughs> years in a row. That's adorable. Um, <laughs> and so that was like to me that was like very honest. But but we digress. So um, this book. But I but the thing is I think that the Star Trek kind of like tangent relates back to why I like this book so much because the author makes these comparisons and uses these metaphors that you don't typically see in other places and it works and it's unique and it's interesting and it's new and it's fresh and I think part of it is seated in the fact that he is a Trekkie but like I and I wish I had examples I don't but it's so fresh and so like interesting and it just kind of makes you laugh. So, and to me, the thing that I just, like, thought was so well done in this book, um, because the part of him going to Iran was interesting, and like you were saying earlier, it is a little different. You don't see them exploring Iran as much. But there's this relationship between Darius and his father, and his father, they keep calling him the Ubermensch. He's, like, they say, like, he's tall and blonde and very, like, Swedish, and he comes across as a cyborg, and there's, there's also a whole thing where they're talking about the Borg. Which I loved that too, and when Captain Picard had to go to his family's vineyard to get better, but whatever. Oh my um, God, <laughs> seriously. I was like, but but he, there's also there's like this relationship between them, and there's they're talking about how Darius inherited his clinical depression from his father, and how that affected their relationship, and 
if you read it, it's his father wants to be there for him and wants to love him, but he's so guilty that he did this to his child. Well, and he has his own struggles too, right? And they talk about like how his father's depression affected Darius's childhood, and I thought that felt so honest. It it felt very real. And that, to me, was, like, the, the best part of this book. Because you don't see that. You don't necessarily, in a YA book, see a parent wanting to have a relationship like that. Yeah. And I thought that was very beautifully done. Like I said, And this book is being touted a lot because of the Iranian aspect. And it's also being touted a lot for LGBTQ aspects. And I felt like that is, like, such, like, like 2%. Yeah, I don't know if I could get on board with that. Because if... Uh, first glance it feels like a a friend book which you don't see right. many friend books between two male characters um i could definitely see where like it just kind of reminds me that there would be like fan fiction sites where like they're shipping right. the two main characters but nothing on the page ever really kind of goes let lets you know that it goes one way or another like you could read into either way right um so we should rate it. All right. Our rating scale goes from five unicorns down to two unicorns. If we didn't like it, it was a horse. So where are you? So originally I was at three, but the more that I think about it, like I said, it's just the way of the relationship between Darius and his dad and what the author did with that. I think I'm going with four. I'm going with four, especially because I like, I like consistently seeing this concept where like your place was empty until you filled it. And like they really kind of talked about that. And I thought it was so kind of beautifully done, in addition to all of the other kind of really unique and cool things going on. So that is where we are on Darius the Great is Not Okay. All right, so we'll see you around. Bye.